How do you handle multiple problems with the same piece of equipment? How do you make sure that you take care of your company and you take care of the customer? Today, I'm going to show you what's happened with this piece of equipment, talk about the history and how I'm handling this situation. Let me show you the leaking indoor coil first. This right here is a leaking indoor coil. It's leaking in multiple spots. It's under pressure right now. This is a Samsung ducted unit. Really nice job. Foam, insulated attic. This is open cell foam. Really nice duct job. Proud of this job. This is, this is a good one. But I've had a couple compressors replaced in the outdoor unit, which I'll show you. I've had a couple inverter boards. And now, this is going to be the second leaking indoor coil. And it's open because just finished pressure testing. Got Nick and James here. They found the leak. Was it hard to find? No, nope, took about 10 minutes. 10 minutes to find the leak. I was here last week and I could not find the leak. So I cut out the flare connections outside and reflared, thinking maybe that's the problem. I actually put 600 pounds of pressure. And I guess that leak got bigger and bigger in between last week and this week. So what are we doing now to make sure that the customer is taken care of? First, I am offering the customer options. I actually asked the customer if they mind if we take the unit out and on us, free of charge, just put in a regular heat pump. Of course, it wouldn't be the same brand. It would not be Samsung. And they were against that option. They thought, I don't want that option. Got a really nice underground, halfway underground house with foam insulation. So it's very well insulated. It's very nice. And they were concerned about humidity. They want the Samsung because of the way the fan operates, the way it runs more, and it provides uh, airflow. Uh, and the fact that it's, it's just more efficient. So now what am I doing? I'm going to show you the outdoor unit here in a second. But what am I doing to make sure I take care of the customer? Offering the options. I'm going to take video and picture, and then I've got a lot of documentation, invoices from previous uh, replacements of the compressor, the inverter board. So I've recorded all that information, and through email, we're going to send that to the distributor, and we're going to request that the equipment be replaced because we don't want to put another indoor coil in this system. Uh, we do not want to have any more, um, any more failures. So, because that's going to create lack of confidence in this brand of equipment with the customer and you just get tired of replacing parts. Now, do all pieces of equipment leak like this? No, they don't. We don't have a lot of issues with ducted units. I haven't changed very many indoor coils at all. So, I've probably changed less than five. And when you sell 100 pieces of equipment a year, which we sell a lot more than that, you're going to have problems, you know, about 5% of those units. I'd say 10 or less, you're going to have some problems. But what you need to do is you need to make sure that the customer is happy. You need to make sure that you're not just changing multiple parts on the piece of equipment, especially when it's not going to fix the problem. And you're going to have more issues. You're going to have to create more visits. And another thing you do is if the equipment's parts are under warranty, sometimes we will front the labor just to make sure that the customer knows we are taking care of them. We don't want them to spend any more money. They've spent the initial cost of what it was to put the unit in and the duct work and all that. So I'm gonna show you the outdoor unit and thank you, Nick and James. Appreciate you guys, man. I couldn't fix it, so I had to get the real deals <laughs> in here. Yeah. Recap real quick, make sure that you record all the incidents where you had problems with the unit. Number two, offer the customer options if you have the ability. Number three, uh, front the labor if you have to replace the coil. I don't think we charge for that coil replacement just because we don't want the customer to be unhappy even though it does cost us money to do this. Sometimes you just gotta, you gotta do what's right. It's like buying something brand new, you expect it to be right even though we didn't make it, we still represent it. So that's the way we look at it. Let's go look at that outdoor unit. Here's the outdoor unit. This is the outdoor unit that's had a new compressor and a new inverter board. And this is actually an 18,000 BTU single zone mini split. Show you guys 
a video of this house. It's really nice underground. And Nick was saying earlier that he wishes all houses were like this. Why? Because you can get on the roof a lot easier and put in vents and everything. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to climb up a ladder, extension ladder to get on the roof. So that's pretty cool. Very nice. So what am I going to do from here? I am going to hopefully get a new piece of equipment free of charge for this customer because I've had multiple issues and we're probably going to install that free of charge. So we're going to front the labor again, but this time in hopes that we have a piece of equipment that's not leaking, that's not malfunctioning. Restore the confidence. The customer has a nice, comfortable home and I don't have to come out here during the winter, during the summer, multiple times on me and hang my head down low like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We're gonna get it fixed. We're gonna get it fixed. But again, it's not all roses and sunshine with every piece of equipment that you install. Some pieces of equipment, you're gonna have problems and you just have to make sure that you're doing the best you can, taking care of the customer, letting them know, answering the phone, showing up when they need you, and definitely recording and taking and documenting every step. That way the distributor can help you because you have got the paperwork and then that means the manufacturer will help the distributor, distributor helps the dealer, all that good stuff. You, you have questions, let me know in the comments. I'm here to help. Every brand has problems. It's not just one brand. They all have problems. So don't think it's one brand. Stick with it, don't give up. I feel like dealers get the short end of the stick sometimes because we install so many pieces of equipment every year, hundreds and hundreds of pieces of equipment for the same brand and we use the same distributor and we make that distributor a lot of money. We pay their bills and the distributor makes the manufacturer a lot of money. They pay their bills and whenever you get a piece of equipment that's had multiple problems and you're spending your time and your money, your resources out here working in the conditions where it's, you know, freezing, raining, snowing, it's tough to fix it multiple times, but it's also tough for it to come out of your pocket. Can you do that? Can you afford that? Because the customer does not expect to spend three, four, five, six thousand dollars on duck work and then five thousand dollars on a piece of equipment and then the piece of equipment it's not heating their home and it's zero degrees outside or it's 95 degrees outside and it's not cooling their home down so they're having they can't sleep as well and they're blaming that unit and really you're taking that blame as well distributors you don't necessarily have to take that blame like the dealer does manufacturers you definitely don't because you have the distributor in between the dealer you have the middleman now you've got customer relations you got numbers and we've got a situation that I've got a customer that's had 27 claims she's on a fixed income this is another different but I wanted to give you this because this is good information units 11 years old bad compressor now not under warranty and she's scared to buy that same brand of unit from me and I don't blame her 27 claims everything's been replaced indoor motors x13 compressor indoor coil multiple times I think three indoor coils on this unit that have been leaking and this one indoor coil problem can cause other problems so that's why you have all the other problems but can you afford this some dealers I know of have walked away from customers and jobs that they sold because sometimes it's so hard to deal with some of the customers that are so angry because they don't have good understanding that you're trying to help them but it's not your fault it's the equipment you did not manufacture the equipment these are things I want you to know because these are things that I deal with and it's not necessarily a bad thing it's hard to deal with sometimes but you got to stick with it you can't give up and this is why the customer chose your company this is the this is the opportunity where you make things right and they know that hey 
If they stick with you, the next piece of equipment they get, if they do have problems, they know you're gonna be there. So that's one thing that's really nice. So stick with it. Don't give up. Take care of the customer. But you gotta think about, sometimes it's gotta come out of your pocket. That's why you wanna make sure that you have 10 year labor plans and you have some type of comfort plan so that if something happens, then the labor is not all on you. And that's why we sell 10 year labor plans. And most manufacturers offer with their brand a 10 year labor plan. Most distributors offer, uh, they have warranty companies now and they offer labor plans. So it's just nice to have that extra comfort, that extra cushion, just in case something happens. As long as the warranty is reasonable. It's not like two or three grand for a warranty. Our warranties, they cost about 600, 700 bucks at the most. Some warranty warranty companies, they charge $1,000. That's reasonable. You know, anything over that, I would think would probably not be reasonable. Um, so, because when you average it out for the customer, it's like $50, $60 uh, a year, you know, over a 10 year span, if you got a 10 year warranty, 10 year labor warranty. You know, if it's a thousand dollars, it's a hundred bucks a year. You you spend that on a maintenance, service, and clean. So that's the way you can look at it. That's the way you can talk to the customer about the warranty and how beneficial it is and the cost breakdown over the years. So let me tell you some stories about brands and problems. So first, 2009, pretty sure it was around 2009 area, American Standard, bad indoor TXVs. I had to replace over a hundred indoor TXVs. That was not fun, but they're pretty easy to replace. Some of them, most of them, maybe one or two due to the install was kind of hard to get to the indoor TXV to replace it, but a, a ton of bad indoor TXVs. And we're not a humongous company with 20 or 30 employees. We're, we've got 10 employees, we do a lot of work, but imagine the bigger the company, the more replacements you'd have to do because the more installs you're doing. So that's just one. Then fast forward 2000 and maybe uh, 15 area, York indoor coils replaced probably 200 or more indoor coils. This is rough rough guesstimate, rough estimation. But some of those indoor coils we replaced, we replaced indoor coils not two times, but three times in the same unit because you were getting, you were receiving indoor coils that were under warranty and you were using those to replace the ones that were bad, but the ones that you were receiving were bad as well. So that was just not a good experience I, I got sick and tired of replacing those coils. And then we had multiple other problems, outdoor fans. I think the distributor that you choose is so important because they can make things easy on you by being able to offer you a new piece of equipment for the homeowner so that you can give them more of a benefit, more of an advantage of being with you. and. Samsung, I haven't had many problems. The only problems I've had is on a few units like Walmart, Walmart air handlers. I've had a few indoor coils that were leaking and then I've ordered a new indoor coil. Now this is older outdated models. I've ordered a indoor coil and that indoor coil has been leaking. And then we've done that for, you know, one or two, three, four or five pieces of equipment. And you had another indoor coil leak. And so you end up requesting a new head, a new wall mount air handler, and distributors been able to procure that for us, and we've been able to employ that new wall mount air handler. And I've had very, very few situations where I've had to get a new split for the customer, but when when having a certain amount of claims and the unit still being under warranty, you can actually get that new piece of equipment, but you got to have everything documented. With Samsung, I've had inverter boards fail, but inverter boards failing can be from power surges, from power spike, from not stable power. You've got older uh, lines, older transformers, 
they give out. You got blackouts, rolling blackouts, where the power goes on, power goes off, power goes on, power goes off. This affects the equipment. It's good to have a surge protection device on the equipment for any unit that has an inverter board. So inverter board could be bad because of the weather, I mean, you know, and power. If you need help with your project, you need tech support, click the join button, become a member. If you want my email, check out the membership levels, level one. If you want my phone number, check out the membership levels, level four. If you wanna see my members only videos, level three. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Tad. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.